This is episode 283 of the e-commerce Coffee Break podcast. On this episode, Bert Leffel, CEO of ListenerNord Software, joins me and we talk about how you can make your listing process 10 times faster. So let's dive right into it. This is the e-commerce Coffee Break. A top-rated Shopify growth podcast dedicated to Shopify merchants and business owners looking to grow their online stores. Learn how to survive in the fast-changing e-commerce world with your host, Klaus Lauter, and get marketing advice you can't find on Google. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the e-commerce Coffee Break podcast. Today, we want to find out how you can list thousands of items in an hour or quicker. Now, a lot of merchants have a lot of SKUs and they want to go omni-channel. They want to publish their or promote their products on Amazon, on eBay, Walmart, other channels. And that can be a massive time bandit. And there's ways around it. And we want to talk and dive a little bit deeper into this topic today. With me on the show today, I have Bert Leffel. He is the CEO of listenernow.com and actionfood.com. So let's welcome him to the show. Hi, Bert. How are you today? Hi. Thank you, Klaus. I appreciate it. Doing well. A little cold, but doing well. But I understand you came up with a solution that you actually had in your own business. Um, tell me a little bit how you got started, what the issue was, and where you started to develop your own thing. Absolutely, absolutely. So the story goes, you know, our company was set up to sell retail returns. So we were buying products from all different liquidators throughout the country by the semi truckload, bringing them in. Uh, getting them on e-commerce and then auctioning them off ultimately to make sure that we help to reduce the retail footprint of these retailers. The goal was to list as much as possible in as short a time as possible, sell it as fast as possible. Uh, but what we were running into was just how cumbersome it was to create those listings on the different platforms and then go to the next platform and the next platform. Uh, so what we came up with was a purpose-built software that we've developed for our own business to help us to scan UPCs to create a listing. And what I mean by that is we can pull in a title, description, price, photos, weight, even more data than that, which is pertinent to getting it you know, cataloged and then listed online in a very short amount of time. So our goal was to expedite what we were doing. At our very best, we had 13 listers. We were doing about 3,000 listings a week. What we developed allowed us to do 5,000 listings a week with three listers. So take that into consideration with the overhead number in the sky, going average range in Indianapolis, Indiana, at the time was about $40,000 per person. We were able to shift some people around, and now we've saved our company about $400,000 a year just with the software, which is significantly less than one person's salary for the year uh, to allow you to do such heavy lifting. So our goal was to list as much as possible, know what we had, know where it was, how many we had, not oversell, get it all listed in the fastest amount of time possible. So that's what we did. We built it for that solution, which we then said, well, We've got something on our hands here that others might be able to use to benefit their business, help us. We can't tackle a retail return issue worldwide on our own. It's it's to the tune of $900 billion a year. That's what they'll be. So there's a lot of products going to landfills, going to the oceans. And, and we wanted to help to re-ingest those, if you will, back into the marketplaces because people will buy good product if it's sorted well and categorized well and described well. So that's what we've we've aimed to do. And now we want to invite the world to to try this out so that you know they can help us tackle this retail return problem and help the environment while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Not only returns, also merchants with bigger SKU numbers probably have the same problem to be listed on all of these platforms. Maybe for the listeners who have not listed anything yet on Walmart, on eBay, talk me through the process, how complicated it can be coming from your Shopify listing and getting the details into a listing on these platforms. The difficulty is getting listings on Walmart, getting listings on Amazon or eBay with all the pertinent details. It takes time. You know, you have to look it up, copy, paste, create a listing, then launch it. That takes roughly, if you're fast, four to five minutes to create a listing. With our product, it's pulling all that data into one location via API pushing to Shopify. 
Shopify has other middleware that will allow you to then push to Amazon, Walmart, eBay, Etsy. It's called Marketplace Connect. And so that software really allows us to then compose and push to those sites. The matter of uh, the efficiency that their systems work are just in line with ours. So the problem is getting the product in Shopify. It's not It's not getting it out of Shopify. Once it's there, they've done an excellent job uh, with their Marketplace Connect acquisition to push these products to those major channels. So the scanning of getting the product into Shopify cuts out four to five minutes per listing. The pushing then to Amazon, Walmart, and eBay also with Shopify's Marketplace Connect cuts another four to five minutes out of the situation. So you're saving lots of time per item. Prior to this meeting, I did uh, listing uh, 117 items in about 13 and a half minutes, which I'll be sharing that video on our website, listernod.com. But the process of getting it scanned in, documented, cataloged, pushed to the different e-commerce channels literally takes roughly seven to 10 seconds per item, down from four to five minutes per item. Uh, and that doesn't take into consideration then adding it to your inventory management software, giving it a home. The Lister Dot will do all of these things for you. You can add a home, you can add a quantity. Uh, then it's a matter of pushing it to those sites via Shopify's Marketplace Connect. We're talking seconds, Klaus. It's literally seconds to create a listing and get it live. Mm -hmm. When you get started as a merchant, you might be already on one or the other platform. So how can I find out in the fastest possible way if my products are already listed there or not, just to get a clean start to get started with your software? So I think the benefit cost for someone, you know, we're working with people that have a high skew count of different products. It doesn't matter what they are. We're working with people that have storefronts and retail operations that don't have a website. They don't have products for sale online, but they would like to. Uh, dealing with auctioneers who do a high volume of products that constantly change. These are the target uh, clientele for us. And the goal is to get the item listed in the system and then check where it might sell best. So we call that right product, right channel. Being able to say, I can check this product on Amazon, Walmart, eBay, or push it to an auction uh, is a matter of knowing what you have and where it is. So that, that information that we pull in that then is given to the client on their dashboard allows them to have all that information at their disposal and then make the pertinent decisions to sell it. You know, there is a price war going on on all these channels. Uh, it's a constant battle to, to, to the bottom, unfortunately. So we're always dealing with pricing separately. That's, that's going to be through each platform specifically. Um, Shopify allows you to manage that as well as some other products out there. Repricer.com is another one that allows you to do that. But the pricing wars are certainly a thing. Uh, knowing if it's listed on Amazon, it's going to tell you if it's listed on Amazon after you launch it. It will give you a failure message. Same with Walmart, eBay, everything's on eBay. Um, and then auction, you can sell anything through auction as long as you're licensed in your specific area of the world if it's required, as well as don't sell things that are illegal to sell in auction. So those things all being said, right product, right channel is a matter of you know sorting it. So not just sorting it by condition, whether it's new, new open package, as is used, blemished, all of these things come into consideration with putting the right product on the right channel. But at the same time, you, you can't do that if you can't list it fast enough. So you might spend 10 minutes trying to find a listing on Amazon and fail because it's not there. With our system, it's a matter of right product, right channel, not on Amazon, not on Walmart, it's on eBay. So we get it, we, we hit on all three channels to make sure that we can get on one at least. And then after that, we're gonna focus on sales velocity. How long do we sit on it? I wanna talk a little bit about the dashboard, about managing all these different platforms from one central point. As we are on a podcast here, and most of our um, listeners are obviously listening and are not watching it on YouTube, talk me through the, the process. What can I see? What kind of different features do I have to manage all these listings? So all the listings are cataloged into what we term a pod. So our software allows you to set up a pod. So a pod is a folder or a holding tank, rather, for you can set it up by lister to, to check on the performance of each lister that you have listing. You can set it up per platform on where you want to send it. You can set it up to be a day's worth of work. You can set it up to be an auction. You can set it up however you want. So let your organizational brain run wild with that. 
Uh, how we do that is we're going to we're going to create an e-commerce pod and an auction pod for our own purposes. Everything that's brand new goes through to e-commerce. So that pod, then you can open it up, click on individual items, change titles, change descriptions, update pricing, update photos, add photos, really do a quality control item by item. So the, the most successful companies using our software have a scanner. They're just scanning it through. And then they have a QC person that's checking and overseeing what those listings look like before they launch them. And so it really takes a team, again, from 13 down to three in our case and allows us to do more than we were before for significantly less overhead, as well as giving us a nice independent organizational tool to go back in and check these products and verify that they are what we want, stamp and approve, and then list. Hey, Klaus here, just a quick one. If you like the content of this episode, subscribe to the weekly newsletter at newsletter.ecommercecoffeebreak.com. I score and curate 50 news sources so you don't have to, saving your hours of research. Grow your revenue with e-commerce news, marketing strategies, tools, podcast interviews, and more, all in a quick three-minute read. So head over to newsletter.ecommercecoffeebreak.com to subscribe, as said, 100% free. Also, you will find the link in the show notes. And now back to the show. Mm-hmm. Now, we might give some merchants out there some ideas on how they can expand their business through these different marketplaces. What's kind of the setup and approval process? So basically taking a step back and saying, okay, I want to use that. I want to get on eBay, on Walmart. Before I can get started, what kind of steps or what kind of process do I have to go through? Sure. So, plus, if you are starting out from scratch, there's there's a number of solutions that we offer. We offer anywhere from a free trial all the way up to a thousand dollar a month franchise type product where we walk you through everything that's involved and really hand hold you to get you up and running without a two hundred thousand dollar initial investment to start a franchise it's just a it's a monthly fee uh it's less than most other softwares in our space and it allows you to really have an expert on the inside showing you what's going on the heavy lifting comes from setting up your, your Amazon account, setting up your Walmart account, setting up your eBay account, getting approved, uh, jumping through all the hoops. Prior to that, you know, getting your LLC or your, your business license, getting your tax account set up, your accountancy set up. All of these things are, you know, business 101 that we're trying to come after that. But we do have a solution for folks that just want to try it. We call it a entrepreneur. They want to do it. They just don't know what to do. So we'll help and handhold in the solution where, uh, in the situation where those folks want to come through and, and start a business, they just don't know how to do it. The process of creating a Walmart account, it can take a day, a week, uh, a month. It can take longer. It's, it's just a matter of, do you have all the pertinent details that they require? Do you have an LLC? Do you have business insurance? Do you have a shipping location? Um, do you have these policies that that they want to see in place, shipping, returns, handling, things of that nature? So the heavy lift for someone that that wants to do it on their own, that doesn't want to pay, you know, a thousand dollars a month, they want to pay a hundred dollars a month. They would, you know, have to do the due diligence on their side to establish their business, set up their accounts. Once those accounts are set up, you know, there's there's the Shopify conduit. Do you want to list? to a website? Do you want to have a, an ability to push to multiple platforms at once? Shopify is a requirement in that case. Do you want to just download a CSV and image file and upload it? Well, you don't need Shopify for that. We can help with that right away. So it really is, you know, comes down to the user, their level or acumen in, involved in business to start. And then from that point, you know, their, their technical savvy, can they set these accounts up in a timely fashion. And then from that point, you know, our software, I really developed the software with the intention of my 80 year old mother-in-law who was working with us at the time. Can she learn how to use it and can she use it in a timely fashion? And to answer that, we trained her how to use it in about 15 minutes. Uh, not technical, not a technology lady, but we, we built it so that it's so easy to understand and so simple and straightforward that anyone should be able to use List or Not. List or Not's just a listing tool. It just creates the listing. The heavy lifting is everything else, right? It's not List or Not. List or Not's easy. It's, you know, how do you deal with all these other platforms and set up your accounts? And if you are already there, the heavy lifting's done. 
Mm-hmm. That's quite an achievement. I, I'm not sure if my mother would be able to do that. She's also in her 80s. Uh, but if, if you achieve that with your mother, I think that's that's a good goal that uh, you have achieved there. Let's talk a little bit about the onboarding process and, and the, the setup. What kind of um, training is involved? Um, how much homework does the merchant have to do before they approach you? There's next to none to answer that straightforward. You know, if, if someone wants to talk to us, we're available to talk about the product. The setup and the onboarding is a matter of you sign up, you get a a welcome email. If there's integration required to your Shopify account, if you don't sign up through Shopify, if you sign up through us, there's going to be an integration call. We're going to get your API key to connect your Shopify account, set it up, and then show you a quick tutorial on how to use it. The demo that I give can take about five minutes. I, I try to give it in 30 minutes to walk through all the steps and how it all works. But once you do it, it's like a, riding a bike. You do it once, you're going to start to feel it. You do it three or four times, you don't ever want to talk to me again because I'll talk too much, right? And so the beauty of it is it's really the onboarding and the integration call come first. Second is going to be a live training via a Zoom call like this. I'm going to give a quick tutorial training, and then I'm going to send over a, a, a pamphlet of uh, a tutorial, if you will, that shows you how to use the software. It's, you know, seven steps. You shouldn't mess it up, but if you do, uh, we're available to answer any questions via online chat for the smaller versions of the software. The larger versions have, you know, full access. You can call me at home, you know, but for the short period of time. So we have a team that's here willing to help answer any questions that may come up as you're getting on board at uh, the simplified versions of the software, it's, as I said, it's seven steps. It's it's so easy an 80-year-old can use it and be trained in 15 minutes. So the heavy lifting and, and the confusion of our software comes around, well, what about pricing on Amazon? And what about shipping and ship station? Not us, not us. If you know those things and you're and you're a professional at it, it's a seamless integration. It's easy. If you don't know those things, we want to help. We want to show folks how to do that and 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 give them our experience from setting up a warehouse, from setting up an LLC, from establishing everything from square one. We offer that as well. But our main goal is, you know, you go to Shopify, you see it in the app store, you sign up and you're you're live and you get a you know a quick video tutorial and you're operating that day. It really is a one-day onboarding uh, where if you do have an API plugged in to your Shopify store, you're listing and creating listings that afternoon. Mm -hmm. You touched a little bit earlier on the pricing. Just remind me, how does the pricing structure work? So pricing structure is based on roughly amount of uh, launches per month. So how many items you launch to a platform. So we have a a free trial, a 30-day free trial, which will allow you to launch and list 10 items. Uh, if you like it and it makes sense, then our $29 version is going to allow you to list 250 items per month in unlimited quantities. That's 250 individual items. Our $49 version allows you to list 750 items per month. And then our $99 version allows you to list 1,500 items per month. We have an unlimited version at $299 per month. And then we have what we call our franchise version at $999 a month, which is for the entrepreneur who wants to start listing, wants to start an e-commerce business, but doesn't want to pay a fortune to learn how to do it. Yeah, that's just a setup fee. And we're going to train you on every step of the way of what we've done and how we do it. So you could you could literally say, you know, I hate my job. I want to start a business. What do I do? And we'll help walk folks through that as well. That's probably the cheapest masterclass I have ever heard to set up a business. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it it's good to have a, have a partner helping you with a radio if you really want to start from scratch. Before we come to the end of the coffee break, is there anything that you want to share with our listeners that we haven't covered yet? The benefit of, of what we've built is really to reduce the footprint of the world's largest retailers. And they're taking on all these products. Returns have become a part of what we all expect when we buy products. So when you take a product back to the store and return it, where does it go? It does not go back to the shelf. It goes to liquidation. And so those products are then auctioned off and sold off throughout the world. They may go to stores. They may get sold. They may not get sold. And if they don't get sold, where do they go? Well, they go to landfills. And so our our main goal here is really to do what we can to help reduce that footprint and help get these products back into society at a discount. So if you want to buy a product, uh, you don't want to pay full retail, 
you know, you can check on a listener not user near you to be able to buy those products at a lesser cost. Uh, so that's the main goal for us is really reducing the footprint of the nation's largest retailers or the world's largest retailers rather. Yeah, I, I really like the mission that you have there. Uh, it makes totally sense for me. Where can people find out more about you guys? Uh, they could go to listernaut.com. That's L-I-S-T-E-R-N-A-U-T. It's like an astronaut, but it's listernaut. Um, and so there's information there to schedule a demo, reach out, contact us for more information. We're happy to schedule a demo. You can actually click to uh, schedule it at a time that's convenient for you. And we will uh, meet you online and show you how it all works. Excellent. Bert, thanks so much for your time today. I will put the links in the show notes as always, then you're just one click away. Um, I checked you out on your YouTube channel, which is also very helpful and gives a very good overview on how to get started with your solution. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Klaus here. Thanks for joining me on another episode of the e-commerce coffee break podcast. Before you go, I'd like to ask two things from you. First, please help me with the algorithm so I can bring more impactful guests on the show. It will make it also easier for others to discover the podcast. Simply like, comment and subscribe in the app you're using to listen to the podcast and even better if you could leave a rating. Thanks again and I catch you in the next episode. Have a good one.